It's the Tony Rose Morning Show on D93, and we are joined by one of our favorites and somebody that I did not realize that I have something in common with. Uh, you know her, of course, from Bo-Katan on uh, The Mandalorian, of course, uh, Battlestar Galactica, and and as well from her new podcast and her great YouTube channel where I found out that we are both Spartans. That's right. We're both Spartan <laughs> racers. Katie Sackoff, how are you doing? I am so good. I, I love that you did a Spartan race. That's awesome. Uh, I've done a few trifectas in my life. So come on, you got to step your game up out there. Of course, you did yours in Hawaii, though, oh, right? I did. I figure if I'm going to kill myself doing a, a, a Spartan race, I might as well be able to see the ocean at the same time. <laughs> what did you, uh, what made you want to do it? What was, uh, I want to talk about the new podcast and everything else, but it, very rarely do I get to talk Spartan stuff with our guests. So this is a chance for me to fanboy a little bit here on that too. But what made you want to do it? You know, I love doing things that seem really challenging um, and sort of taking the mystery out of them. Um, you know, I, I was an athlete. I love competition. Um, and I love putting myself through sort of physical yeah. strain. Um, you know, my <laughs> level of what working out and other people's level of working out is is usually a, a little different. I think I've got a screw loose someplace. <laughs> Um, and so I wanted to do something that, that looks really hard to me, um, and train for it and actually get ready for it. Uh, what was the hardest obstacle for you? Oh my God. That stupid wall. Yes. The, uh, the, the wall because it, it was covered in mud yeah. by the time I got there. I, I just, I couldn't get up it. Um, and it was the most frustrating aspect for me. I was so frustrated you know, I knew that like the, you know, the, the, that my spear throw was probably going to miss. And yeah. so I was prepared for that. Um, I got it tons of times at home. Um, but I was like, you know, when you're tired, that's yeah. a really hard one. So I knew that, that, that if I could just make up time in other places that I was going to like recover from all those burpees, but I didn't anticipate that wall being so challenging, but when it was covered in mud and the rope was soaking wet, there was just nothing I could do. I tried it three times, and I was like, this is a waste of time. So I just <laughs> hammered out those burpees really quick. Well, like I said, they can see it, by the way, on your YouTube channel. Great channel, by the way. Check it out. Give it a give it a subscribe button there as well. And the new podcast as well, The Sackoff Show. Uh, tell us about that. Brand new adventure right here for you, right? It, it is. You know, I, it's, it's sort of an extension of the YouTube channel. You know, I was doing the YouTube channel. Uh, it started before the pandemic, went into the pandemic. Right. And when we came out of it, it became something different because I was working. You know, it was really hard for me to go out and do these big concept show episodes for the YouTube channel. And so I was like, I still want to have content. I want to talk to people. I was craving this like authentic conversation during COVID and with the rise of social media, I really wanted real conversations with people because I saw my friends doing interviews and I was like, this is not who you are. This is not who I am. When I give an interview, there's a tiny piece that people see of who actors or athletes or things like who we really are at our core um, and so what I wanted to provide was a safe space for people to really talk about who they are and be honest and authentic and, and go through my entire Rolodex of friends and people that I've worked with and, you know, put a microphone in their face. And, and away you go. How, how, how much of a, of a, a, adapting, I guess it was from being the person who often gets interviewed to being the person who has to ask the questions and kind of know when to push it and when not to push it and when to go to places that are uncomfortable or when to go to places that are fun. What was that process like? Yeah. You know, I think that it's a learning curve for sure. Um, I think that I realized I, a couple of things I realized. Number one, I had tremendous ADHD and I had no idea. And, um, <laughs> and then, you know, I also, I didn't know how to listen. I really didn't know how to listen. Um, you know, communication is, is sort of heightened when you actually, when you put a camera on someone or you record a conversation, you realize what your communication style is. And mine was not a listener. And so I had to teach myself how to actually listen to people and not interrupt because I grew up in a family where we just talked over each other. Right. Well, that doesn't, that doesn't, that's not actually communication. Um, and so I had to train myself all over again, how to actually talk to people. Well, what's, uh, what's on the uh, docket now? Like when, when are we going to see you back on the screen? I know Mandalorian is hot show, Bo-Katan on there, and we've seen you so many other places. Kind of what's, what's your uh, 2024 fall and winter looking like right now? 
Yeah. So I have uh, the new Watchmen animated movie coming out August 13th on 4K. Super excited about that. I play the Silk Spectre. So mm-hmm. anyone who who loves Watchmen, yeah. um, that's a huge thing. I'm really excited. Titus Welliver is in that. Troy Baker, Matthew Reese. So a lot of a lot of really cool actors have come together to play these characters. So um, I'm really excited for that. Um, and then ultimately I have two little kids now. My daughter's two and a half, my son's two and a half months old. So, so I have been a lot pickier with what I do and I've got some really cool stuff coming out, um, that I can't talk about. But in the meantime, the podcast has really kept me busy and we have new episodes every Tuesday. How can folks find the podcast? What's the best way to go about looking it up there? Oh, my gosh. Well, if you're a person that's in a car listening to radio right now, um, we're everywhere you find your podcast. Um, and if you like to sit at home and watch, we're on YouTube, too. So, you know, we're we're everywhere and, and um, it's really accessible, which I like. Well, you're always so kind to us and we appreciate the time and, and we're Spartans. So we're in this thing together forever. Uh, get back out there and do another one with us. We got a great one down in Nashville in October. Come on down and do that one and it'll be fun for everybody. Oh, my God, I would love to. I would love to. If I can get my hip out the door, I'll do it. Hey, congratulations again on all the success and the family. And uh, let's catch up again soon and, uh, and, and, and find out where we're at, man. We really appreciate the time, Katie. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good one. Thanks. You too. Bye-bye.